Right, okay, uh, before I, uh, or when I was asked if I would actually film myself uh, answering some questions, I was in two minds about it. Uh, I'm quite a shy person, uh, not that you would think it by some of the things I put on Facebook. Um, I think over time as I get more comfortable, uh, I'll probably reveal a little bit more about myself. Um, so I'll start off with just two questions that have been asked so far. The first one's by Leah Winkleman. And it was, what started you to write? Well, I started to write, or well, thinking about writing, shortly after the death of my father in 2010. He'd been a big influence on my life and was a great storyteller. Most of these stories were true, recounting the time in the military and had me captivated. So, after his death, I decided to write a semi-autobiographical novel about the life of an ordinary soldier. This quickly turned into a trilogy. Uh, a year after publishing those books, uh, I was approached and asked if I might be interested in writing erotica. I was a little apprehensive at first, but uh, I've grown in confidence over the last year, and and I hope, hopefully, my writing has improved with each book I've written. But only uh, you, as the readers, are the only one ones who can really answer that. Uh, the second question I had was from Claire Lawrence, and it was, uh, what's your process when you start writing a book? Well, what I normally do is try and draw on memories from the past experiences, that, and that's usually my starting point. I then try and change the story to something that I think might interest people. My first three no novellas were all based on real life experiences and were basically just telling the story of events that had happened to myself at some point in my life, but mostly from within the military. It changed then when I, when I wrote the Male Escort series in Alters. Uh, these, were, these weren't things that happened to me, but in the first book in Male Escort it actually was something that happened to me and it was the launching point of the whole story. The rest of it was fantasy, uh, but I'm not saying it didn't excite me. Of course, it fucking did, <laughs> or I wouldn't, uh, or even I wouldn't take part in such things. I have, and I would try anything, but I don't think that any shape or form I could be a submissive. But I am, if nothing else, very adventurous. Once I have the idea of the storyline, I decide how it will end. And then I fill in the gaps to reach the final destination. Generally, I don't write things down except for character names and descriptions. I find sticking to a rigid plan doesn't work for me. My mind works differently. Some say I'm wired differently. Some in the writing community call this pansting. I call it free fall and do whatever the fuck I like. Up until this point, it's generally worked. Well that's all for this week, I will answer another couple of questions next week and hopefully I'll get a little bit more comfortable <laughs> to the fact that I'm filming myself rather than just recording audio. So I'll sign off for now and I'll see you next week.